Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris Patrick. If you didn't know, get to know. And if you're not new here, you're welcome back to my channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks on how to live the soft life. On how to live the soft life. You guys, my guys, suffering is not an achievement. Honey, suffering is not an achievement. I want you to think that if you're not suffering, then you're not doing it right and i'm like what no no we're not doing that so in today's video i want to discuss with you guys how you can make your 2023 soft and at my workplace they they nicknamed me soft life because of the way i talk about life and things and you know stuff are you ready kids aye aye captain i can't hear you aye aye captain before that um Soft life is basically um, a life of ease and then again it's not possible because everybody has issues and we have to be realistic okay portraying yourself as a soft boy or girl makes others think that you're living a, a fake life when you also have problems like other people like you, you also have other human problems too we can't control the problems we are faced with but we can control how we react to those problems and try to solve those issues okay some people don't like wearing their problems on their sleeves so that is why is that you see people living the soft life the soft life <laughs> so my very first point is prioritize yourself let's take for example your friend wants you to do something for them but then you know that if you do that stuff you're not going to be able to do other things that, that you want to do for yourself don't get me wrong there are times when um, our family and friends needs supersedes ours and I'm not trying to sound selfish I'm not asking you to be selfish, you can just be like I'm sorry, I can't do this right now like can we do this later, something like that it be like a balance where you sacrifice for others and then uh, and times where you put yourself first okay, there has to be like a balance it's your own life, so your own, pr your own priorities should supersede other people's own, okay? Nobody should make you feel bad for putting yourself first because you you said that to be a priority too, okay? One point is regular grooming. I do believe that appearance matters the most. You good, you exude just energy. Like you don't even have, you don't have to try to show it, but like it just literally pours out of you. Like I, I feel really confident whenever I make a new hair. Like new hair, who this, who this? <laughs> I do think I do think it's really important to make yourself presentable at all times. But a little secret, I mean my room looking like a rat most of the time. <laughs> but I feel like, but I transform myself whenever I want to go outside and meet new people because I know that my appearance matters. How you present yourself is how people will take you or will make you feel, okay? When you look good, you feel good. Regular grooming is very important for that soft life you desire. My third point is block out negativity. To be honest, if you stress me, I disappear. I disappear. To avoid unnecessary stress a person that thinks and dwells on things a lot even when they're not that serious it's very important to know how to block out the negativity from all sides try not to spend hours thinking about things i cannot solve instead i put that i put in that energy into problems that i can handle at the moment life is so short so do not allow your problems to consume you okay do not wear your problems on your sleeve you can, you can't control that problem, so why does it have to control you too? I'm not saying you should sweep your problems under a rug and leave it to be, but just try not to allow that problem to control your life, okay? My last point is scarcity mindset. This is like having um, a mindset of lack. Like seeing the glass half empty instead of half full. When you have this mindset, it becomes very hard for you to, you know, like, spoil or enjoy yourself every once in a while we always say cut your coat according to your size 
but for some, but for some people, it's never enough. Like the ones they have, it's never, it's never enough for them. They can't even like try to, you know, enjoy themselves once in a while. But they're always, you know, stacking up the ones they have already. Shelly say, this life you just want. Ah, uh, I say want. This life you just want, and you will never know where you go visit our Father in heaven. Yes, we are always trying to hold on to that list that we have, but we we should also have. Um, an abundance mind mindset instead of always having a scarcity mindset. What if you become a, a, um, a millionaire tomorrow? What if you become a millionaire tomorrow? Okay, so we should have balance and like you should have balance and try to adjust yourself once in a while to have the soft life. Hey guys, that is all the points I have for today's video, and I'll be sure to drop more for you guys. If you really enjoyed this video, please be sure to like this video, comment down below what you think. Subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos. For more amazing videos. And I'll see you guys in my very next video. See ya. Catch ya. Later.